What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. <sighs> are we there yet? Well, didn't you say you always wanted to go sailing? Yeah, but all this ocean gets kind of bland after a while. Last time I checked, it was amazing and life-changing. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. Our childhood. He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Well, you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big, okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different, got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change the scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodgings are our first order of business. All work and no play? Makes Ignis a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. Westcom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yep, runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee, or Magoo, or uh, Mago, that's the one. Nice. You can count on Old West, but <laughs> he'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Lunafreya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Lunafreya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Noct. Yeah. <laughs>